Hi all, this is Hazards280. Uh, just doing a review on a Nest learning thermostat that I just purchased. Uh, a lot of the things in my home I try to keep up to times with technology and um, I'm a little late on the game with this one but I was pretty happy to go out and pick it up. Just recently moved and um, had a 10% off coupon at Lowe's. So uh, the normal retail price on this is $249.99 and with a 10% off I believe it came out to $230 something but I also picked up a few other things. So this is a smart thermostat, not just your typical, you know, set the temperature for 6.30 a.m. and change it at 5 and it just does whatever you program. And this one actually learns your lifestyle. And very interesting, you can do a lot of reviews. Uh, a lot of the user interface was designed by people that I believe left Apple. Um, so, and, and, you know, took a route in designing this. So, very interesting. A very, I call eco-conscious box. It's, you know, this is just, it looks to be recycled cardboard. And... A very just genuinely nice layout so now I haven't opened this yet this is how it comes from the store and to give you a few more things regarding what this does it does have auto schedule so it learns your temperature settings based upon pardon my phone there it learns your temperature settings depending on what you type or what you adjust so throughout the week the first week if you always at 10 p.m. adjust your temperature to 70 degrees or whatever it may be it understands that and learns that so eventually it actually sets your own schedule there's a nest leaf, which if you can see the little dot there, it actually displays that leaf once you're making energy conscious decisions. So you can actually see that. Um, you can think of that as uh, some of Ford's hybrids have that and maybe a Toyota Prius, but I'm not sure. Um, and I know this is somewhat of an automotive channel and I don't mean to bring up Priuses, no offense to Prius owners. And I guess I realize this is an energy efficient eco tool, but I would never be caught dead in a Prius. Regardless. System match. It matches to your system regardless of forced air, heat pump, or radiant heating. Um, so pretty interesting. This works with, I believe, 95% of thermostats. Auto away. So when you go to work, it actually notices that you're gone from the home. The sensor on the bottom of it does uh, pick up 150 degrees um, uh, um, um, around the device. So you can actually you know keep an eye on who's in the house and whatnot. Airwave. In the summer, in the winter time, or the summertime, excuse me, when the AC is running, it doesn't just shut off the compressor. It can it shuts off the compressor, but doesn't shut down the fan on the AC unit. So that cold air continues to flow through your home, and you maximize what you're actually getting into your AC unit without you know losing or wasting any of that cold air. Energy history, you can see how the Nest is affecting your energy use, and you know how efficient it is actually uh, being, and the energy that it's saving. And the most interesting part to the Nest, which for me is why I purchased it, was the fact that I can actually control the temperature and everything through a phone, a iOS device, anything like that, and I can control it when I'm gone. So that to me was very interesting. And as well, it's just a simply a beautiful device. So I'm going to box open the boxing. Slide this open. This comes off. This is what's inside. I'm not sure. Yeah, they're definitely not sure what that is. So let me spin it around a little bit here. Oh, okay. That would be why it looks like that. Here's the nest. It's it's I would I would compare it to the weight of um an iPhone, actually. Not that I have an iPhone, but it's about the same weight as an iPhone. Um, not that you're going to be holding it often, but it's there. And this is um, actual stainless steel. This isn't uh, imitated. It's true, and it just feels like a quality device, but it should at the price mark that it's at. This is your welcome guide, concierge, concierge kit, and a few other things here. So um, your how-to on the Nest. Things like that. Nest concierge service. Don't want to install the Nest yourself. Have a professional come out and do it for you. Um, doubt that's free, but whatever. Oh, look at that. Get a little Nest screwdriver. How interesting. This is just stupid. Why would you wrap it like Okay. Um, two screws. They appear to be stainless steel screws. Not that you're going to be exposed to the elements often. Now here is the actual template that you will connect your wires to. Um, so, you know, yellow, yellow to green, 
orange and black, whatever the hell that means, white, white two aux, C isn't required, and that's the common wire isn't required in most installations. It even does have a level here, so you can make sure that you're uh, lining it straight, such as right there. And then a whole spot for your two holes. So essentially what's going to happen is this is going to go, oops, sorry, something like this. I'm not going to put it together just yet, and that will mount on your wall. Got a few more screws here, and the nest screwdriver. I might just use this in the garage. Don't make fun of me here. It's a $250 screwdriver if the nest doesn't work. Hmm. That's pretty freaking cool. I don't know why, but this reminds me of Despicable Me for some reason. Don't judge me on that. Okay. Oh my god, look at this. It's like a never-ending box. And this is, oh, the wall template, the wall plate, if you wanted to have a wall plate. For instance, if you had a ungodly large um, thermostat before, it'll cover it up and make things look a little nicer. And I think this just mounts it away from the wall. I don't know what this does. I'll figure it out. So, okay, guys, we're going to do the second half of the review now. This is the actual, you know, UI uh, aspect of the uh, nest. You know, I've lived with it now for about a month. It took a couple of weeks for everything to get set up regarding my schedule and, you know, all the nest sense, you know, features to get going. But once it actually figures out your lifestyle, it, it you really don't even think about the nest even being there. I mean, 99% nine, of the time the nest sits on my wall just like this. So, um, you know, when I go for work, go to, when I get up for work in the morning at about 5:45, the home is already at 68 degrees, which is a comfortable temperature for me in Michigan right now. When I come home from work, you know, 5:45, 6 o'clock ish, you know, the home is just as the way I left it, and I don't realize that when I left, you know, it automatically sensed that I was away and lowered the home's temperature. Um, the actual energy uh, breakdown, which you'll see on here, shows you the exact time that you know the nest has been on throughout the day. And it's it's a really nice system when you look at it on the iOS or web-based platform, or on the computer. You'll see that um, you know it says you know the, the weather for this day caused your thermostat to run the extra hour that it did. So you, know, you see that feedback, and it's it's quite interesting. Now, for the needs of this video, I did lower the screen brightness down to the lowest setting just because my my device I'm recording on uh, was flaring out when I actually used it. So please keep in mind the screen can be a little brighter. And it does have an auto adjustment where the sensors are here at the bottom. See how I just picked up my motion? That it will, um, you know, uh, that's what it, everything feeds off of. So anyhow, uh, here we go, 68 degrees. Just pushing in on the box here. Uh, it's a really nice quality construction. Um, simple movements, brings the temperature up and down. You can see as I come down, the nest leaf comes up, indicating that this is a greener selection. However, no one's going to let their house get that cold. So, I mean, 65, yes, 66, sure. You know, this is like nighttime stuff. During the day, I like to be 68, 69-ish. Um, just a good temperature for me. Uh, you can push in directly on the nest, or you can just simply turn right to the more. And you'll see it actually knows how long it's going to take my home to get to these temperatures and it knows this based upon <laughs> oh my goodness it knows this based upon the historical trends and how long it takes to get to certain temperatures so it's it's pretty interesting and the thermos uh, furnace just turned off the furnace is just to the left of this uh, please ignore this here this has to get fixed this is from the previous thermostat uh, one push in is done you push this It'll go into a way setting, which is automatically green because my lowest temperature is 64 degrees. Select it again. Yes, I want to end away. Uh, I'll go into the settings menu in a moment. This is my energy usage. Going left, you can see, remember second, hour and a quarter, an hour. These were warm days, warm days. I mean, some cold days in here, two and a quarter hours, one and three quarters. And you can see as I go, the size changes depending on energy usage. Now when I get back a little bit further it doesn't look like it'll let me go that far back but the days where I didn't have heat it just has zero. Or I wasn't using the that furnace. Oh, schedule. You can see it is Sunday night about 9 p.m. Um, 66 degrees is what my thermostat's going to go to at um, 
10.45. So there's that. Oh, shit. Taki mushrooms. Uh, scrolling through, you can see 9 p.m. on Saturday. Temperature goes to that. I'm home on the weekends. Uh, when I get home from work, 68 degrees. When I, get up, when I leave, no, when I get up, sorry, when I get up, 68 degrees. Uh, when I go to bed, 66. When I get home, 68. You can go through, these are all automatically set up by the nest. This is nothing I've put in, and it knows this. It's quite interesting. Now, when I go to the settings menu, you'll see we have a lock, that way nobody can dink around with their temperatures. This is a good father thing. You know, they can hear the thermostat we moved and from a thousand miles away, so good thing there. This is where you can actually define how low you want the temperature to go when you're away. I have it at 64 because I have a dog in the house. Now, sense, these are the different nice little features. Auto away, it automatically knows when you leave the house. Auto schedule, you know, automatically learning your schedule as you go. Time to temperature, that was where it showed you, you know, 20 minutes to until 72 degrees. Early on, this way when you have the temperature set for 645 in the morning, the temperature will be that, not just turning on at that time. Sunblock is uh, pretty nifty. It detects the sun coming into the home and doesn't let that sun, if it's heating up the nest, uh, you know, swing the temperatures at all and understand the sun being there. And the leaf, you know, do you want to be told you're being eco or not? So, uh, reminders for the air filter. Uh, if you need to have that change, it'll remind you there. The screen brightness. Um, screen on when you approach or when you press the button. Um, the click sound, if you want that on or not. I'm trying to cover up the screens because I uh, don't want my uh, location to be on here. Uh, 68 degrees as far as uh, Fahrenheit or Celsius. Uh, the name is Nest. The network this is on is my internet. And then it does have your Nest account information as well as your location. And uh, then it goes into uh, your languages and stuff. And the good, nice thing about this is your location settings, let's say uh, where I live now it's you know 20 degrees outside. It takes that into account in heating the home and it's going to understand how that affects your home differently. You know when I set up the nest it asks you know when was the home built. Uh, this home was built in 2010. You know how many square footage and it takes these into statistics and uh, makes you know more useful information out of it. So um, let me go back into settings. It looks like it timed out there. And Date and time is here. Equipment. Technical info is pretty interesting. It tells you all these different things. Humidity in the home. You know, I have a white, common, and red, and power. All these things going into here. Uh, you know, pretty interesting. So, legal info, reset, and then you're done. So, that is the nest for the most part. I mean, there's nothing else really to it. It works well. Uh, my furnace isn't on that often. And when it is on, you know, I can, you know, I can hear it, you know, go into a lower power setting, a two-stage mode for the furnace, and you know, it seems to be pretty efficient to me, and it's um, a great device. I like being able to change my temperature and check it while I'm at work. So, um, I don't have my phone on me directly, but I could show you the UI on that. Uh, if you guys are interested in a video review of what that looks like on, you know, mobile devices and on the Internet, feel free to let me know. I'll gladly uh, make a separate video for that. Uh, thank you. Please subscribe if you enjoyed my videos. Typically, this is an automotive channel, but... I've had a little bit more technology added to the home, so I figured I'd throw those up on YouTube and let you guys, you know, get a review for them, or an idea of them, especially as we're going into these winter months here. You know, every dollar you can save is another dollar you can spend on car parts. So, thanks guys, subscribe if you enjoyed, and uh, have a good one.